Ladies and gentlemen, a seven-foot center from LSU, number 43, Gurr Hammy. Hey Magic fans, welcome to the latest Magic Player History episode on the career of Gert Hamming. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can learn the story of every Magic player who ever suited up for the franchise. Gert Hamming was born in the Netherlands and he began his college career at LSU as a third string centre behind future Magic big men Stanley Roberts and Shaquille O'Neal. After Roberts left college in 1991, Hamming became Shaq's backup for the next two seasons until the Magic drafted O'Neal in 1992. In Hammock's senior year as the starter, he blossomed, averaging 15 points and 10 rebounds per game, which led to the Magic drafting an LSU center for the third consecutive year, selecting Hammock with the 26th pick in the 1993 draft, beginning what may go down as the strangest three-year career in franchise history. The pick Orlando used on Hammock had come to the Magic as part of the Stanley Roberts trade to the Clippers, which you can learn more about in episode 21. At the 993 draft, the Magic first drafted star guard Anthony Hardaway, and after already having to perform salary cap gymnastics to get Shaquille O'Neal under contract the previous year, with Penny this season, it was always going to be tough for the Magic to sign another first round pick. The Magic were looking to trade away the 26th pick, and they had a deal lined up with Miami to send them the pick in exchange for a future first and second rounder if Rex Walters was available. New Jersey took Walters earlier than expected though, and so the deal fell apart, leaving the Magic with a pick that they weren't thrilled to have. After selecting Hamming, Magic GM Pat Williams indicated that the Magic hoped he would develop overseas for a year or two, as then the team wouldn't need to free up salary space for him right away, but Hamming wanted to play in the NBA. Hamming was invited to the Magic's rookie and free agent camp, but initially stated he would not attend without a contract offer. Without waiving players, making trades, or restructuring other contracts, the most the Magic could offer Hamming was a one-year, over-the-cap salary exception worth around $200,000. Hamming already had larger offers than that from teams in Europe, but the Magic told Dale Brown, Hamming's agent, that it would be very difficult to enter contract discussions without knowing what they were getting. The Magic already had Greg Kite as a serviceable backup to Shaq, so Brown, possibly realising how little leverage his client had, urged Hamming to attend and play in the summer league. Hamming flew in, but he missed the first three days of camp, which meant he was behind on learning the plays and the terminology. He looked lost in practice, was inconsistent in the games, but he showed enough for the Magic to state that he could be a backup center in the league. Signing Penny Hardaway remained the top priority of the Magic front office, and it was taking time to get that done. Hamming changed agents to Jack Marin, and they became frustrated with the lack of an offer from the Magic. The Magic pleaded for more time, but ultimately Hamming signed to play in Italy for a year for a reported $354,000 deal that included a car and an apartment. In Italy, Hamming played for Cantu, and despite being homesick and hating the cold, he put up good numbers. The team, however, racked up losses, and the coach was soon fired. After more losses, the team then decided to withhold players' salaries to try and motivate them. Meanwhile, back in Orlando, Greg Kite had gone down injured, and attempted stopgap centres Lorenzo Williams and Keith Tower were not effective, leading to 38-year-old assistant coach Tree Rollins coming out of retirement to back up Shaq. In March of 1994, Hamming left Cantu after his full February salary wasn't paid, and when starting power forward Jeff Turner also went down injured in April, the Magic decided to bring Hamming in right before the playoffs for a look. Thinking ahead, the Magic knew that if they signed Hamming for a pro-rated minimum deal before the end of the season, in the off-season, they would be able to circumvent the salary cap to re-sign him as he was their own free agent, avoiding the salary problems they faced the previous year. After a delay getting clearance from the Department of Immigration, Hamming was eligible to play in the Magic's final two games of the season, and he finally got onto the floor for the final three minutes of the season finale against New Jersey, scoring two points, but he was left off the Magic's playoff roster. In the off-season, Hamming arrived to summer camp out of shape, the Magic's plan was for him to battle with Keith Tower for a roster spot, with the two alternating at starting centre on the Magic's Summer League team. However, Hammink left the camp early as his wife was due to have a baby. With neither Tower or Hammink meeting the team's expectations over summer, Rollins was signed to another one-year contract to back up Shaq. And with Kite unable to play in pre-season with concussion, Hammink and Tower resumed what was thought to be a battle for the final roster spot. Hammink and Tower played well in pre-season, and somewhat surprisingly, the Magic decided to keep both, instead waving Kite, who hadn't recovered from a raft of injuries. Hammink started the season on the injured list, but two weeks into the season, Tower was waived, locking Hammink into his third-string centre spot. Hamming played seven minutes in a blowout win over Miami, where he scored four points, 
But just as things were looking up, the Magic signed their 1994 second round draft pick Rodney Dent to a contract. Dent was still recovering from injury and he wasn't ready to play, but the Magic were caught out by a league rule that didn't allow a team to sign a player and then send him straight to the injured list. So instead, Hammink, who did have some knee pain, went back to the injured reserve. The timing couldn't have been worse. With Rollins sustaining a strained hamstring, Horace Grant and Anthony Avent got minutes at the backup centre position as Hammink was left out in the cold due to the league rules that dictated he had to spend a minimum of five games on the injured list. Hammink had no luck though. While waiting out his five games, his knee injury worsened as he battled daily against O'Neill in practice. Hammink's knee injury continued to deteriorate and he missed the remainder of the season. Despite two years of false starts and mishaps, the Magic still liked Hammink, tending him a $250,000 qualifying offer and trading a second round pick to the Vancouver Grizzlies in return for them not selecting Hammink in the 1995 expansion draft. A short off-season lockout cancelled the summer league and while Hammink initially held off on signing his qualifying offer in hopes of a guaranteed deal, the Magic signed free agent centre John Konkak, which left Hammink with little negotiating leverage. Hammink once again got playing time in the preseason, and the Magic centre rotation was turned on its head when Shaq's thumb was broken when Matt Geiger fouled him on a rebound. It's time for me to prove I can play in this league, Hammink said, and I think I'm ready. It's a matter of getting a chance. Hammink got playing time in the Magic's first two games of the season, playing one minute in a win over Cleveland, and scored four points in four minutes in a blowout loss to Atlanta. But then he was headbutted by rookie teammate David Vaughan in warm-ups before a game against New Jersey, sustaining a broken nose. Once again, the timing was terrible for Hammink. With the Magic desperate for big men, it was Vaughan who got the minutes while Hammink recovered. Hammink played in a face mask on November 30th, but he had two turnovers in two minutes, and ultimately the Magic decided it was finally time to part ways. If Hammink remained on the roster on December 10th, his contract would become fully guaranteed for the season. So on December 8th, even though he was weeks away from returning, the Magic activated Shaquille O'Neal, waving Hammink. Hammink described the timing as very disappointing, saying, I can't imagine any other first round draft pick being waived after playing only 17 minutes. Hammink was picked up by the Golden State Warriors in March, playing three games for them, but he headed back to Europe at the end of the season. Hammink had a long and successful career in Europe, playing in Greece and Germany from 1996 until retiring from professional basketball in 2004. In 2018, Hammink began a coaching career in the Netherlands, winning the Coach of the Year for the 2020-21 season. In Hammink's five-game Orlando Magic career, which spanned three seasons, he averaged two points and 1.2 rebounds per game. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Magic career of Gerd Hammink. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and check back soon for our next episode on the Magic career of Keith Tower.